What's good, everybody? This is your boy, Jagging Off. 904 to Bowl City Duval. We in a fucking building yet again. Excuse me, I'm just getting off work. Um, so I wanted to address a couple names that have popped up in fan groups and just basically on the Jaguars radar. So, first one is Devontae Freeman. Now, before I talk about him, let me uh, let me just say, I know some people have mentioned Raheem Mostert, that he wants a trade. That would be the dumbest fucking thing we could ever possibly do if we're going to do that. Why would you give up draft capital to get a guy who's, I guess, had one good season and full of himself now, when we could just pay Leonard Fournette and get the same caliber player? And not have to give up any draft capital. So, that's just fucking dumb. So, no. That makes no sense whatsoever. Sorry. But, um... With Freeman... It just recently came up. He, um... We have interest in him. And, um... Allegedly, he had some contract worked out where he was going to make $4 million. I want to say with the Rams. But... It felt he didn't want to go, and him and his agent parted ways over it. So, like, and I don't know, did she fire him or did he fire her? I'm not sure what happened, but now that begs the question, did he not go because of some bullshit with the team or because he's trying to oversell himself? That's, That's the big question in this scenario because... $4 $4 million after a year where Devontae Freeman kind of fell off with the Falcons for just one year, I mean, I think that's fair to see, hey, um, you know, you kind of fell off, let's see if you can do it again, you know, give you $4 million to risk to try and do that, then after that we'll see about a longer, more expensive deal. I mean, for him, that sounds about fair, but um, I don't know, for whatever reason it didn't happen. I mean, I would love to have. I mean, I would love to have Devontae Freeman, but um, love his talent. But you know, with all this overselling bullshit, I don't know if I'd want to deal with that. It's like he'd be nice to have, but we don't need him. You know, sure, it'd be nice to have him, Fournette, and Crimson Thompson, and have like a little three-headed monster in the backfield. But you know. I just don't want another money grubbing motherfucker on the team. Dealt with we, we dealt with that shit enough. Now the next now the next topic at hand, David Ninjoku, the tight end from the Cleveland Browns. Now see, I kind of knew this guy was gonna pop up because as soon as the Browns signed Austin Hooper, when I really wanted the Jags to do it, but whatever. But um, as soon as they signed him, I was like, wait a minute. Why the fuck are the Browns paying Austin Hooper when they got David Njoku? I guess now it all kind of makes sense. I guess now it all kind of makes sense. I guess either contracts, talks fucked up, or he don't want to stay, or they don't want him, or some bullshit going on over there in Cleveland. But um, Njoku wants out. I personally would love to have David Njoku. And for the price they're asking... I think I've read somewhere it would take a fourth and fifth round pick to get it done. So, what the if, if that's all it takes, what the fuck are y'all waiting for? Like, really, what the fuck are you waiting for? I mean, we got I mean we got two fourth round picks. I think we might have two fifths actually too. So, you know what you got to lose, especially if we give them that pick that we got to the Rams, because then we turn that fourth round because then we turn that fourth round pick into uh, David Njoku, we already killed the Rams on that trade, and then we still got a fir- and then we still got another first round pick next year. We already got that beast K. Levon Chase on from LSU last year for, with their first first round pick in the draft, and then you add Njoku, and then you still got another first round pick to go. We fleece the fuck out of the Rams, you ask me, if that happens. Now, if this were to happen, you know, the fourth round pick's good, but instead of the fifth, you could probably send them either O'Shaughnessy or Eifert because one of them's not going to get playing time. So, personally, I think it would be O'Shaughnessy because I think he'd be a good tight end, too, for them. And um, I'd rather keep Eifert just in case, in case this shit don't work out with Njoku. He's got one year left on his contract before we have to pay him. And then, you know, 
if it don't work out, you still got Eifert, who's on a two-year option, which is similar to the contract Chris Conley and Jared Jared Wilson had. They can let him go for no penalty, but they can keep him another year if they want. We exercised that both with Conley and uh, Jared Wilson. But see, here's the thing. Do I like the tight end core right now? Yeah, it's absolute with Eifert there and the and Oliver and O'Shaughnessy being healthy, it's absolutely going to be better than last year, without a doubt. But at the same time, could it be upgraded? Yeah. So I'm with the thing like I like what we've done for Minshew so far. You got a guy who's potentially the franchise quarterback. Now get him fucking weapons. Like, I know he had DJ Chark and, you know, the sporting cast was aight, but get him all fucking weapons. Look what we did. We signed Tyler Eifert. We drafted Visca. We did all this. We drafted Colin Johnson. We got, we are making sure that, you know, we're trying to do everything we can to make sure Minshew, who threw 21 touchdowns last year, get him more of what he needs to throw 31 touchdowns next year. And Njoku would be a big part. That adds another weapon for the champion of the Elder Gods to have that at his disposal. And that way we can really see Minshew shut everybody the fuck up and give him the respect he deserves. Because, And this is good for the Tranny Florence dick riders too. Because if we give Minshew all this and he can't work, then that's all the excuse you need to say, hey, we need to go get Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields, or... Um, my man from a wheelchair went to school, um, North Dakota State. His name escapes me right now, but he's nice. But, um, yeah, so I would absolutely be all in on getting David and Joku here. And if he doesn't work out, you lost a, you lost a fourth round pick. I mean, who gives a fuck? So, well, you lost a fourth round pick and either a fifth round pick or, and O'Shaughnessy or both. It really doesn't even matter. I, I, I would do that, but... Yeah. Of course, the other thing we could probably do is um, see if we go um, Ngakwe for Njoku straight up because wasn't Cleveland trying to sign um, Jadavion Clowney? And now they're going to get, and if we were to give him Ngakwe, I'm pretty sure they'd let Njoku go for that. Oh, but Jagunov does the value match? To me, it fucking does. Let's look at facts. <coughs> Yannick Ngakwe and David Njoku are two, two quality starters that are on the cusp of being elite. They're both fairly young, and they both want to change the scenery. Makes sense to me. I mean, I don't see where that doesn't make sense. Then we get a better tight end. They get a, they get another pass rusher to go with fucking uh, whack-a-mole, and we get and we get a, another good weapon for the champion of the elder gods. So. Why not? And that way, if it doesn't work out, and that way, if some shit happens with Njoku, you don't lose draft capital. Sure, it'd, be, sure it'd suck because then you'd, you're left with nothing for Ngakwe, but still, you at least took a chance on a good player. So, I don't know, that shit makes, that shit makes sense to me, bro. Because, Ngakwe's not, Ngakwe, like, the more I think about this shit, the more, like, he just kind of, the, I don't even care what we get for him anymore. He just need to go. Like, Yon was my favorite player, and now this shit's just gotten more out of control, as it seems. Because, so, you know, think about it. He won $22 million and shit, and, you know, Reen, he turned down a three-year deal where he'd have been making $19 million a year. He overselling himself. Fuck, Jadavion Clowney can't even get $15 million a year right now. But... I mean, Ngakwe's obviously a better player, but still, you get my point. I also, as much as I love Jan, and as much as I rec- and as much as like I tried to talk him up, I also recognize he's not Khalil Mack good. He's not Von Miller in his prime good. He's not Lawrence Taylor in his prime good. And dare I say this, he's not Josh Allen good. I'm sorry, but he's not. So. I don't know. You could do that, or the picks thing's more likely to happen if we are to move in on this. But I'd be, but if I'm the Jags, I'd be all in on in a Joku. Get get our champion of the Elder Gods the another weapon. Get Garner Minshew somebody else to throw to, 
and maximize his potential and just show why he's the chosen one, the great one, the, cho the, ch the champion of the older gods. But anyway, that's it. That's all. This is your boy Jagging Off. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Y'all have a good one. Go Jags. Duval till I die. And I'm out.